first sight, it's very difficult to imagine the Earth being anything but a solid, massive, rocky sphere with fixed continents and permanent oceans on its surface. It's very difficult to imagine uh, continents moving across the globe and colliding with one another, and also very difficult to imagine oceans coming and going every few hundred million years. And about 10, 15 years ago and beyond that, it was just as difficult for geologists uh, to accept the mobility of the continents and the coming and going of the oceans, just as it is for you now. Geologists in North America, for example, were very skeptical when they read that their colleagues had suggested that the eastern seaboard of the United States, in fact, had once belonged to Africa and had become welded onto North America when Africa and North America had collided and that subsequently they'd split apart and Africa had left part of itself, if you like, welded to North America. Um, <clears throat> they were equally skeptical of the suggestion that the eastern part of Newfoundland had once belonged to Europe and that had become welded to North America in a similar fashion. The uh, continent of Europe then having split away from North America again and leaving a remnant. Um, now the eastern part of Newfoundland. Geologists in Europe were a little less skeptical than their colleagues in North America, but they too found it a little difficult to believe, for example,